this is Rich B and AZ again and we're going to have a go doing a wheel bounce this time with the tape on totally correct for the offset now I'm going to do a little bit of math to start with so I've got the wheel off oh and I'm weighing it and it weighs 40 pounds on our bathroom scales the other thing I need to do is to measure where the wheel weight is so I'm going from the inner to the inside of the weight here and I'm getting 16 and 3 quarters so half of that 8 and 3 eighths that will be the radius so we have the wheel with the tire weighing in at 40 pounds it has this much of an offset on the balance machine okay same axis but this is the wheel axis and it has a weight at a radius. We know the radius, thank you truck, we know the radius, but what we've got to find out is the balance moment. So there's a moment caused by this thing being off center and it's the weight of the wheel times 16 to convert it to ounces because I want to do it in ounces and inches so they'll keep the units consistent. That's the offset, it's half of that 35 thou TIR. Okay, and on this side we have 8.375 times X, an unknown weight. And we don't, I want to solve for X. When it's balanced, these two things are equal. And if you remember your early math, to solve for X, you take the 8.375 over this side of the equation and divide by it. Okay, so here's the math worked out. 40 times 16 times that divided by that and you end up with 1.337 ounces so this offset on the machine this 0.0175 is the same as having a balance weight on the wheel that's putting it out of balance that weighs 1.337 ounces so to give you an idea this is a one and a quarter ounce wheel weight, this is a one ounce wheel weight. So it's the same as having one of these on there that's throwing off all your measurements. But you don't know where it is. So hopefully doing this and putting the tape on, I'm going to get the wheel recentered roughly and it should be a lot less. Okay, so I've added another little line here to the formula because if you remember I said they ought to be able to machine this thing to within five thou total run out. So that's going to be 0 0.0025 here and when you plug that into this equation instead of this number you get 0.191 ounces okay so I think I have a balance here there's a little it comes up with a little tiny hot high spot right here and it's on this side and it's on the other side so I think it's about balance, so now I'm going to test it by lifting it and turning it a quarter of a turn, see what happens. Right, so with a quarter turn, I'm getting a small high side reading over here. Right, so this is half a turn, as you can see, I've still got a high reading over this side, which will vanish. Comes back stronger. Gone. Doesn't show up this side. So it's not quite correcting for the off-center. Uh, it may be the way that the actual wheel is fitting on that support ring. Remember how badly that support ring was misaligned? Uh, so it may or may not be sitting on the cone properly. So I don't think my tape solution is really working. I'm just chasing my tail again. Okay, so I've got it set up on the tape, the dial indicator. We'll turn it. I'm interested in the number where it's on the tape and the number on the opposite side. So it'll it'll fall down. And it's going to come back. And we're opposite the tape now. So it's coming up to about 39.40 and about 44. Opposite. Okay, so I'm now looking for other causes of the problem, and I know 
these don't align properly. This one this seems to be the best fit of the other three, and then this one's off. Uh, I can't get it out of the end. They must have either pressed it in or it's threaded with super glue or something, but they don't unscrew. So I'm going to see if I can just adjust it manually with Mr. Sledge. Okay, so after a long session today, I think I finally got it figured out as to why this thing is different every time I put a wheel on. The same wheel, wheel weight in the same place, why it measures off. Right now I've got it measuring on. That is because I went in with a screwdriver, nice big fat one, See these things? You can get in there and you can make it a bit more concentric. When you plonk it on, it will go off a bit, so there's more showing here than there is over there. So you've got to square the bloody thing up. And then all of a sudden, this line comes in properly all the way around. So I'm going to go back, I'm going to draw a circle on here. Somehow, that's the radius of the OD of these things so that I can adjust a bit more accurately that position when it's on there. But I think that is it. I've looked at several other things. But I think that's what it is. Okay, I think this is what's going to do it. So let's give it a test. Chuck the tire on and see if it works. Okay, as you can see I've just thrown it on. And this, the five inch circle I drew, you can see here, but you can't really see it in these. So I'm going to center up that circle as best as I can, and we'll see how the balance works. Here we go with the circle centered in each of the holes as best as I can get them. Come back over, turn the laser on, I'm shooting at the edge of the bead about here. So it's not making that plane across the top like before, but I can see this sort of dashed line here, so I'll give it a little turn. We're opposite the weight now. I'm back on the weight. So that was a full circle of the tire and you s it stayed pretty much on that line all the way round. So I'm balancing the other tires today and I am having some difficulty in getting nice uniform reading but it's going to be fairly close so I think that's what I have to do. I pick it up, I rotate it 90 degrees and then I go for a consensus, a general consensus of where to put the weight and it's you know sometimes it's over here, sometimes it's over there and over the far side and then most of the time it seems to be here which is opposite where the valve is, just happens to be but uh, building a consensus of opinion seems to be the only way to do it. Uh, the ultimate solution would be a <laughs> $6,000 machine, no. Um, how about a trailing arm suspension from one of these XBs on the rear, you know, get a rear suspension with a hub something like that, but then again I might have problems with the disc interfering with the weight balance because I'm sure those cast discs aren't very good at being balanced. Um, but something like that might be the ultimate version of this. But for now this is going to have to do.